All right, hey everybody, we're back with another topic here that we're going to be talking about today, and that is about the Ford uh, Ranger and how it is coming out with the 2.7. We see right here the optional 2.7 that we've been waiting so long for is now here. The 3.0 is only in a Raptor, so we're not worried about that, but it is between a 2.7 and a 2.3 that we get in the Ranger. Here's this 2.7 EcoBoost, the one that we've been excited for. Same one has been in the F-150 for uh, since 2015, I believe. It's been around for a very long time, a decade almost. Great motor, puts out uh, 315 uh, foot pound or 315 horsepower and 400 uh, pounds of torque. It's a great, great um, motor in here, and we are excited for it to be in here. However, there is a caveat to this. There is a kicker that I need you to think about here to put it into realistic terms, which we want to talk about. But uh, so basically, we're going to be between those two, the uh, that and the 2.3 liter that is standard in here. So if we build them out, um, you know, the 2.3 has been around since 2000. 19 in the Ranger as well too. So it's been around for a very long time um, and uh, it's a fantastic, fantastic motor as well. Uh, and I'll give you the specs on that as well in here too. I don't remember where I put them at, but the 2.3 liter uh, and it, it, we got the 2.7. So that's our comparisons in here. Um, if we look at it here, uh, the 2.3, so if we build this truck with a 2.3 in it right here, we're going to take it, or if you were to build a Ranger XLT model, which is what most people are interested in, doesn't matter which one, but the two or the 2.7 is only available on the XLT and the Lariat. It is not available on the XL model. Um, so in the XLT, you can see it is a $2,195 difference here. Does it show us in here the horsepower on this? No, it does not. Um, but uh, it's a $2,200 difference to get that go to the 2.7. That seems like a smart buy. And honestly, next year, it probably is. This year, I do not believe it is. But next year, probably a very, very smart buy. Um, however, why do I say not this year? Let's dive into that and look at it here. So uh, here it is. We got that motor again on there too. Um, and like I said, somewhere in here, I think I put down, yeah, here's uh, so the uh, the 2.3 liter is a 270 horsepower, 310 foot pounds of torque for the 2.3. And then you have the uh, the 2.7 is coming in at 315 and 400 foot-pounds of torque. Like I said, it's a pretty significant. That's almost 100 pounds more of torque, and uh, it's 30 or uh, 45, almost 50 pounds more horse or 50 pound. Sorry, getting ahead of myself. Almost 50 more horsepower and 90 foot-pounds of torque more. That's a tremendous difference. This 2.7 motor is going to be a beast in this truck. Not to mention V6 reliability. Not to mention a lot of different things. Not to mention the reliability. This motor has been around for a very, very long time with all the kinks worked out. The turbo issues in the beginning are gone. All the problems of it are gone. It's, it's pretty dead nuts, reliable, fantastic motor. Now, fuel economy-wise. Uh, not a huge deal that I would care about, but some of you guys would be interested in. So if we take the Ranger here, four-wheel drive, this one right here, I don't want to, it won't highlight real well. Um, but this one right here we're looking at, which is a 2.3 liter four-wheel drive, four-cylinder. You're getting 22 combined, 20 and 24 is what you're getting. If we drop down to this one right here, which is a 2.7, Okay, if we look at that one, you're going to a 20, a 19, and a 23. So you're basically dropping two combined and one for city, one for highway. Worth it. Worth it all day long. I'll take that all day long. Uh, you can see the range difference here, 414 miles total range, 376 miles total range. I don't care. I'd take the 2.7 in a heartbeat. However... I would not take the 2.7 this year. It has nothing to do with the motor being a new model or anything like that. Nothing like that. Simply comes down to dollars. Okay, it's not just $2,200. So let's look at that. Okay, so we know that it is $2,200 for the actual price of the engine. Does it tell you, does it give us anything else with it? Uh, nope, that's it. So, uh, but this 2.7 is $2,200 in addition. But if we come over here and we look at Ford Ranger on Car Gurus, and I go through here and I do a couple of search changes. We go 2024 to 2024 nationwide XLT. Notice it only says there's two of them. See this right here where it says two? Why does it only say two? Well, we're at four wheel drive, two still only, but notice I clicked down here V6 2.7 liter. There are only two of them available in the nation right now on car gurus. There's only two of them available. So this vehicle has not been out much. So here they are right here. 
We got $1,000 off on this one. Not even. We got $800 off on this one. And we got MSRP on this one. And these are the only two. We got one in uh, Georgia and one in Wisconsin that they are showing available so far. Two results is all we have for this particular truck. Now, what if we jump over here? Okay, we go over here and we look at for the Ford Ranger, uh, same thing, 2024, nationwide, XLT, 200 and, or 2,691 of them, four-wheel drive, okay, but we picked the motor-wise, we just left it as standard, which is going to be the 2.3, I didn't have to change nothing, uh, so it's going to be the 2.3 in this, and look at the differences in prices, okay, look at this one right here, for example, let's, let's open this dude up right here, okay, we look at this, Oh, it looks like that one's already been sold. Just sold. Interesting. Okay, cool. But anyway, we look at it here. This is basically um, thirty. Your your forty six hundred dollar difference off MSRP for this. Uh, you can see the deals that are on here that you you're you're looking at here. Thirty five hundred off. Uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, four thousand off. Uh, you can see the deals are four to four thousand to forty five hundred dollars, three thousand. You can see huge deals. Here's another four thousand dollar one. So you can save a lot of money by getting the two threes, the twenty twenty four. This is not leftover twenty threes, it's the twenty twenty four. But because of the fact that they are offering such big deals, so if you take on average, uh, you take four thousand dollars or this one at forty five uh, forty five hundred dollars, and then you add on. The difference of this $2,200, you're at $6,600 savings to go with the 2.3 over going with the 2.7. or the 2 .7. That's tremendous. That's enough that if it was me personally right now today, if I was going to buy a Ranger today, I would get the 2.3. Is it 2.7? Yes. It's ama Is it amazing? Yes, it is. It's an incredible motor. Um, and if I kept a vehicle for, say, I was going to buy this truck and plan on keeping it for 10 years, I'd wait for the 2.7, but I would wait to buy it next year when there's more of them available and this no longer becomes an issue. Because right now, there's only so few. They're, they're even showing a Raptor on this one. Um, but uh, But there's so few of these out there right now that there's not going to be the deals on them. So if I had to buy one today... I would be buying one with the 2.3 and save myself this discount plus the extra uh, the extra $2,200 making $6,600 savings. I would take the 2.3 in a heartbeat. It's still a rock solid motor. It's been proven. It's been out now for five years. It has very few issues. It runs like a top. The thing's very reliable. It's a great, well done uh, turbo four cylinder. that has been fantastic. One of the first ones ever put in a midsize truck, actually. I mean, this thing has been incredible. So uh, will you suffer anything by not having a 2.7? No, but you'll gain $6,500 or $6,000 or $55, however your deal works out. But you're going to save a tremendous amount of money off of the price of that vehicle by doing it. So that's my thoughts for you. Uh, let me know what you think. Would you uh, pay the MSRP, MSRP price today to be able to get the 2.7 in here or would you take the deal for the 2.3 if you were buying today? Like I said, the smartest decision if you wanted this would be wait till end of the year or till next year till we get more of these. Till, till this row where we only have two results right here. Once this starts to look more like this, those deals will be there. It'll probably be next year before that happens. But when that happens, then it's time to buy a 2.7. But how do you feel right now? What would you do? Uh, let me know. Thanks for watching.